The White House facing new fallout from those bombshell indictments. Special counsel Robert Mueller announcing charges against three of President Trump's former advisors in connection with the Russia investigation. 12 counts, potentially decades in prison for the president's former campaign chair, Paul Manafort, and his deputy, Rick Gates. Both men pled not guilty in court. Perhaps more significant, the guilty plea from campaign foreign policy advisor, George Papadopoulos. In that plea, he details months of contacts with Russians and others in the Trump campaign. He has been secretly cooperating with the special counsel since his arrest in July. July. And our team in Washington covering every angle of the story and our chief White House correspondent Jonathan Carl starts us off. Good morning, John. Good morning, Robin. The president is just now responding on Twitter to the news that his former policy advisor, George Papadopoulos, pleaded guilty to lying to investigators about his contacts with Russians during the campaign. The president tweeting, few people knew the young low-level volunteer named George who was already proven to be a liar. Hours after news of the special counsel indictments broke, President Trump emerged from the White House to trick or treat. But he made no comment on the indictment of the man who ran his campaign. His chief of staff, however, told Laura Ingram on Fox News that most of the White House staff isn't concerned. I think the staff is very comfortable with simply serving the nation. The vast majority of the staff would have nothing to do with any of this kind of thing. But Kelly also made it clear the White House wants Mueller to finish his investigation quickly. It would seem that they're towards the end of the, uh, of the witness pile. Um, and uh, I don't know how much longer it could possibly go on, but we're in great hopes that it wraps up. It is very distracting to the president as it would be to any citizen to be investigated. The indictment of former campaign chairman Paul Manafort and his deputy Rick Gates makes no mention of the Trump campaign. Potentially more serious, though, is the guilty plea from George Papadopoulos, a former foreign policy advisor to the Trump campaign who acknowledged contacting Russian operatives to get dirt on Hillary Clinton and then lying about it. The White House said Papadopoulos played an unpaid and very limited role during the campaign. But then candidate Trump once personally praised Papadopoulos in a Washington Post interview. George Papadopoulos. He's an oil and energy consultant, excellent guy. And soon after, Trump shared this photo of the two at the same table in a March 31st national security meeting. We've been saying from day one there's been no evidence of Trump-Russia collusion and nothing in the indictment today changes that at all. But the George Papadopoulos yeah. agreement is no. about the campaign. Uh, it is specifically about the campaign. It has nothing to do with the activities of the campaign. It has to do with his failure to tell the truth. As for the president himself, he took to Twitter to say the special counsel should really be investigating Hillary Clinton. Sorry, but this is years ago, before Paul Manafort was part of the Trump campaign. But why aren't crooked Hillary and the Dems the focus? The White House press secretary was asked yesterday if the president would consider issuing pardons to Paul Manafort and Rick Gates. She said it's too early to be in talking about pardons. But George, the White House is certainly not ruling it out. Did not rule it out at all. Okay, John, thanks very much.